So, a few months ago, a uh, debate raged across the gaming community about the uh, difficulty in uh, video games. Like, should games like Dark Souls have an easy mode? Will an easy mode remove the sense of pride and accomplishment for the ones who actually manages to beat the original game that others, because of a principle of availability, now allows them to also finish it? Paradox games may not have been at the center of this debate, but perhaps they could have been. Because for a very long time, strategy games like Crusader Kings 2, Europa Universalis 4, Stellaris, Hearts of Iron, and now Crusader Kings 3, Paradox itself, I would argue, has had a fairly narrow view of who can experience everything their games have to offer. I am of course talking about the Iron Man way of playing. Now, what is Iron Man, you ask? No, it's not the famous Marvel character, but a difficulty setting in virtually every Paradox Grand Strategy game. Iron Man allows the player to unlock achievements, essentially rewards for playing the game and achieving certain goals or objectives, with the added caveat of not being able to reload a previous same game, meaning that you must always be on your toes and remain vigilant. Essentially, The whole world is in chess. Any move can be the death of you. Do anything except remain where you started and you cannot be sure of your end. In my opinion, this is the way the game was meant to be played, because not only will you be able to unlock achievements, but there are also no do-overs or second chances, making every playthrough that much more intense. But here's the kicker, you may play in Iron Man mode whenever you want, but you may not always be able to unlock achievements. This happens because your version of the game fails to be identical with the latest official version. One can argue that this is a measure put in place to keep people from cheating, and so it is understandable. But sadly, this failsafe measure also keeps law-abiding armchair generals from using mods, which, arguably more often than not, either makes the game more complicated and actually harder, or does nothing to alter the course of the game, but simply adds flavor or other aspects which simply enhances or personalizes the gaming experience. Of course, some mods are achievement compatible, but most mods are not. And some of these modifications include, but are definitely not limited to, the immense and impressive historical immersion project which enhances virtually every aspect of Crusader Kings 2 and looks so much more better than the base game. In Europa Universalis 4, Mayo and Taxis does much of the same, essentially making the game more complex with a much larger map. In Hearts of Iron 4, where mods like Kaiserreich and Road to 56 change the time period but keeps a deep complexity and difficulty. And finally, in the newly released Crusader Kings 3, the Bronze Age mod brings the timeline back a few thousand years into, well, the Bronze Age and adds many new aspects such as religions, cultures, characters and factions, all without making the game less easy. Using any of these mods will disable achievement unlocking, essentially blocking a full paradox experience from being had. Now you might say, Brandy, that's BS. Achievements aren't important at all, that's just your vanity speaking. Why do you feel the need to prove anything? Well, dear friend, you might say that. You might say that. But the fact is that when I play Paradox games for thousands of hours, I would like to be able to access everything those games have to offer. I want to be able to unlock achievements even though I'm using a mod that tweaks the game just a little, those that do not even change any variables related to gameplay, or massive mods or those that simply changes visual stuff and adds new colors or icons or placement of menus. It's simply ridiculous that using modifications removes such a large part of the game for so many people, and again, especially when they either make the game harder or does nothing to change the difficulty in any way. To my mind, there are no or very few other gaming companies that practice such a policy. I can only think of Skyrim, where in the last few years the special edition removed achievement unlocking for mods, perhaps because of Bethesda's own mod store. But I digress. There must be a better way to go about this. Either a much more comprehensive way, where Paradox monitors the community's biggest mods and determine which should be exempt from the Iron Man filter and which should not, or that Paradox narrows the Iron Man filter by allowing many more mods to become achievement compatible, such as visual design changes, sounds, UI changes, and other mods. Who knows, perhaps this is the only way we'll get anime girls in our new 3D portraits. I'm just joking, of course. What do you think about Paradox mod policy? Should achievements be unavailable even though the mods make the game more complicated or bring no changes to difficulty at all? Or should they be more available? 
do you agree that achievements are a big part of playing Paradox games, or are they just an addition you couldn't care less about? Let me know in the comments, it would be really interesting to find out. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Cheers!